he 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 excelled in a day when the focus was on running game and defense. Right. Have you have you seen the mo- the movie uh, Failure to Launch? No. Oh. <laughs> it sounds like a bad ED. The rom com. Yeah. <laughs> I know what so, it is. But I don't know what it is. He's in there. Terry Bradshaw's in there. Right. So you should watch it just for Terry no. Bradshaw. He's in there. <laughs> Let's go ahead. And and don't say I didn't me. warn you, but I'm warning you. <laughs> I can't wait for you to defend it on D- plot. Jared hasn't day. stopped laughing since you brought it up, so. <laughs> it means it's pretty good. I don't talk about NFL quarterbacks. Have you seen that rom com? <laughs> <laughs> no, not to change the subject, oh. but Terry Bradshaw. I'm enjoying this conversation, but I have another one that's more fun <laughs> rom com. I'm going to laugh at that and then <laughs> change <Rom-coms>. everything. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Two Lies and a Truth, the uh, game show that we have that is a classic twist on two truths and a lie. We have all filled out a truth and a lie about four statements, and one at a time, we're going to take turns guessing. We're going to see the other statements. Two of them are lies. One of them is a truth, and we are going to have one minute to figure out which is the truth, and then who said that, and uh some of these the truths are a little bit more crazy than the lies so it's going to be fun getting to know each other a little bit more i am sweetheart i've got mark with the c i've got andy jocelyn on the sweetheart side and then we got our special guest today we got jared thomas jared have you been uh did you ever get that sponsorship from chili's are you still working on that you know me and chili's are in a tough negotiation process (laughs) right now trying to just get to the right number um, I've put out a lot of mine and gotten, they're working a lot on their side. I'm assuming internally, cause I haven't heard anything from them. So I'm assuming there's a lot of legal, uh, hurdles they're working through, uh, before right. they get back to me. They're, they're working on it. You're still top priority, but there's a lot of hoops to jump through. I heard Absolutely. the last time, I heard the last time you talked to a Chili's employee, the response was, um, what can I get you to drink? Yeah. <laughs> that- yeah. Well, we will go ahead and get started. We, uh, Jared, as our special guest, we're going to let you go ahead and go first. So what's going to happen is Alex is behind the scenes. She's going to throw a question into the chat so we can all see it. We're going to see the statements. Uh, one of them is ours. We don't know if she's going to pick our truth or our lie. And so it's going to be a mystery to us. And then um, Jared will go first trying to figure out which is the truth and then who said it. So uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and have him jump in. There you go. Read it off and your minute starts. Which was better, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, or Disney Channel? This is close to my heart because I have wa- I watched all three of those a ton growing up. So I'm excited. I'm glad my answer didn't get chosen. Uh, <laughs> Disney Channel. The acting alone makes this the winner. Miley, Hillary, Demi, Selena, Shia, Star Power. You can Dude, throw Selena that out Go- as a lie immediately. Selena <laughs> Gomez has my heart. So, I mean, that one... Good. I might pick it even though that it, I'm not sure if it's the truth. <laughs> Nick was great, but Cartoon Network was more entertaining. Okay. Um, Nickelodeon, because you can't do that on television. I, <laughs> okay. No, I don't think Jared's going to know I, what Is that, that an old is. punchline? I'm no, yeah, it's an old show. <laughs> yeah, you never saw it. That's what put Nickelodeon wow. on the map. Yeah. Yeah. That's where All the right. whole slime thing you can get came slimed. From. Yeah, you can't do that on television. It was yeah. like the old game show things. I remember the kind it was of watching. A, it. it was like a variety show kind yeah. of. Yeah, oh. it was the Amanda so, Show. <laughs> love the Amanda Show. <laughs> no, it was great. So, uh, oh, who, who was Amanda Bynes that? was yeah. the Carol Burnett of her time. That was a great what? show. No. Amanda, the Amanda Bynes show. The no. Amanda Show. Oh, that show was a good show. Was it a good show? Sure. Oh. Was it the Carol Burnett? No. <laughs> well, Not that's be- close. The Carol Burnett Ma-ha. of the TV Bopper crowd. What no. was the uh, What was the name of the uh, the little uh, uh, One Tree Hill show they had inside the Amanda Show? Two trees on Ma-ha. it. Stop. No, it was it was like Degrassi High. Remember the Degrassi High? Those were great. I think Degrassi was a show. That was an actual show. Oh, was it? Yeah. That was a real yeah. show. Oh, um, right. Dawson's Dawson's going, so don't let him ruin it all with his crappy taste. It was okay, somebody's okay, taste. Okay. Alanis so, Morissette was on You Can't Do That on Television as an actor. He's not going to know who that is either. <laughs> okay, so here's my thought process. <laughs> I agree with Disney. I agree with all these answers. I don't know the Nickelodeon answer, but I'm sure it's great. Um, I love Nickelodeon. 
<laughs> the Disney Channel answer seems a little sarcastic in nature. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be. With, Look at all those which stars. I would, I would agree yeah. with. Those so are like all stars, like though. Sarcastic. So I'm not sure someone put that as reality. The truth, Nick was great, but Cartoon Network was more entertaining. I get where they're coming from in that and partially agree, but I think you know, Nick with Drake and Josh was so powerful. It's hard to – but I don't know. The Nickelodeon answer could make sense because the person's like, yeah, of course. I don't know, an old reference. Yeah, I and get. he's like defending it with all of his heart here. So I feel like <laughs> – I'm just hard. saying <laughs> – by the way, that the show in the Amanda show, it was called Moody's Point. Dawson had a creek and Moody's Moody had a point. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm so glad you looked that up. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go Truth. Uh, Nick was great, but Cartoon Network was more entertaining. That is the truth. Bang! Wow. Point for Jared. Um, who said it? I think I know who said this. I think we yeah. all know you said you said the guy who said television. it. <laughs> what? I, this is my poker face. All I well, <laughs> all I can Andy say Martin. is there was a certain show that was on Cartoon Network that somebody talks about all the time. So I kind of know who said it too. I was going to ask if you guys have ever watched Adventure Time, because that's on Cartoon Network, and I think. I, I know Bryce of it. Murphy used to be a huge fan, which me and Bert used to watch <laughs> with him at times. I did not watch anything with Bryce, actually. I know what it is, <laughs> but no, we didn't sit down and watch it together in some kind of rom-com spinoff. Pop some popcorn okay. and... Yeah. <laughs> I know I what will, it is. I will but say, I will say Space I Coast with... Coast to Coast was the best 12 minutes on television. Okay, and that, that was, was part, the show that, was that I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. No, I will say I was a Nickelodeon kid, so I liked Cartoon Network, but I watched Rocco's, Rocco's Modern Life was my favorite cartoon, followed by Doug, followed by Angry Beavers. Even though I did right. not like Rugrats that much, I did watch Oh, Nickelodeon. Rugrats was great. Cartoon Network I'm was not, like, allowed. Wait a minute, Rugrats wasn't on Cartoon Network. That was no, I'm saying, I'm saying in my house, on... Cartoon Network was like the oh, edge. Okay. So we didn't really watch Cartoon Network like that. I think you're lying. But... <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are not lying statements that I'm saying right now. I'm going to go with Andy for saying that. It's got to be. So that was his answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I butchered that so much. All right. Andy said Nick was great, but Cartoon Network was more entertaining. That's why he was defending Nickelodeon so much, because he thinks it's great, but Cartoon Network's more entertaining. I, I appreciate your logic. However, that is not my answer. Uh, I kind of figured that because there's no way Bert remembers you can't do that on television. That's yeah. definitely Andy's era. Well, yeah. No, I know what it is, but I definitely never watched You Can't Do That on Television. So, so Bert is the Cartoon Network fan. So here's the thing. I didn't <laughs> lie. <laughs> I did grow up watching those, but when I was a teenager, Cartoon Network was where it was at. Adventure Time, regular show, Marvelous uh, Misadventures of Flapjack. They came out chowder. They came out with so chowder. many funnier, or more Dang. original and creative things that reminded me of 90s Nickelodeon because Nickelodeon went more to real action. And I was like, this is not as fun as cartoons uh, where you can do crazy stuff. And so Cartoon Network is better. My full statement, which was going to ruffle Jared's feathers, was um, Nick was great. Cartoon Network was more entertaining. Disney Channel was and is trash can juice. Oh, it's horrible. And the shows have the acting talent of a dead cactus. So that's just how I feel about Disney Channel in general. Oh, so, so my answer was the Disney Channel one, and all those people I what? named, I named them oh, because oh, they were oh. all horrible actors. <laughs> oh yeah, there was, was not horror. one show. No. Shia LaBeouf, no. come on. The only good no. show no. that had any acting, I will give it up to uh, Hilary Duff. I thought she was a pretty good actress, but all those other shows were horrible. Brash Shia LaBeouf was. Juice. Even Stevens was horrible. No, it was. No, even you Stevens. Guys oh, that show, oh, it was horrible. No. It was the acting was terrible. The only good episode of Even Stevens was the musical. 
You say that about every TV show. <laughs> yeah, I'm really starting to learn that. If it's got a musical episode, you're in. It doesn't matter what show. <laughs> Just because the best episode of Scrubs was the musical doesn't mean I'm like that all the time. <laughs> Clearly, but, but the it, Waverly Place with Selena Gomez was one of the greatest that, shows. Of that all my time. kids, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody was a great. Show. Oh, that show was horrible! <laughs> oh, was what horrible. are you talking about? Those kids could not act to uh, save their lives. <laughs> it was miserable. <laughs> when I watched Selena, Selena when I watched her Disney Channel. Game. Selena. I thought they were intentionally trying to act bad. <laughs> I did not know that they could not. It's like it, movies it's you Hannah see Montana on sci-fi. And Hannah Montana, I saw like oh, three episodes and horrible. I thought they were trying to act bad oh, and someone cool. had to tell me that that's just how they are. I did I not know. I can't say anything about <laughs> Selena because that was after my kids had already grown up and I never watched the show, but the, that one was better. I didn't watch that one either. I saw like two episodes. Wizards was way better than the other ones that came before it. I will say that. But but to say Nickelode Nickelodeon was, they had great shows on Nickelodeon. And Cartoon Network Rugrats, just got Drake better. Drake and Josh, yeah. the Fairly Odd Drake Parents. Drake and Josh is probably one of the greatest kids shows ever. Uh, it is. What? The, the Fairly the Odd Parents. Network was so much more imaginative as it went on. Nickelodeon shows went too far into it because Amanda Show was yeah. the original Drake and Josh. Oh, Amanda Show was great. That's where they started. That's where they started. And then they did a spinoff, which was Drake and Josh, which was a good show. But when I'm thinking about what I want to watch, it's got to be creative and fun. And like there, they went straight the, into all of the real world scenarios, which no, are cool. But I love the imaginative worlds that cartoon. The Network Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. It was fine. That was a great show. He didn't wear a space helmet in space. That show it's was okay. dumb. Flapjack, right, and, well. Flapjack and... Uh, Chowder were two very short cartoons that were amazing. They're just very well done. Creativity on was was awesome, and a, a show about food was great. Um, all right, so I'll go. I'll go next because as much as we could spend all of our time talking about this, we probably shouldn't. Rada 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 rada. Awesome. <laughs> I think Bryce actually said that to me one time, and that's where I knew I was going to hang out with him. I said something, he goes, rah, 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 and I was like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going next. Um, I'll get my, my question up here and then all of my statements. That one was less blasphemous than some of the other ones. Some of them have been hard to agree with, but. Um, all right, what's the, mo whoa. What is the most basic thing People think you can fix around the house, but if it came, if it really came down to it, you would have no clue. The first one is technology. I just press a ton of buttons. The other one is a gas oven, partially explodey in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Toilets. That's about as far as uh, it goes. Um, wow. I feel like all of these are accurate. Um, but I don't know if any of you have actually had a gas oven explode in your face. Um, I don't explode even... in your yeah, face. Yeah, it's potentially right. explode -y. Yeah, how did you write this? Gas oven explode in your face. Like, yeah. just put it like normal. Somebody, somebody said it with, uh, typed it in with an Adam Sandler accent. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> and has a double space between partially and explode -y. Oh, that's did. Alex. <laughs> and it was a double capitalization there. Just kidding. Um, the proper noun. <laughs> I am trying to think. I don't think any of you have a gas oven. Mark, do you have a gas? You do have a Everything gas. Everything in my house is gas. I I've never been to Jared's place, obviously, but my dryer isn't gas. Oh. Why not? I have a gas oven. Because <laughs> I have a fear of putting clothes and flammables inside a combustion chamber. You understand the flame is not, you know, <laughs> I, where the clothes I are. I realize that. Yes. The, the only bad thing about the gas dryer is it can turn your clothes yellow if you don't get all the soap out. Ew. Because it's so hot. Well, that sounds like a horrible give and take. I'd rather well, just have not to, have a gas. <laughs> you got to make sure you have a good uh, washing machine. That's all. My washing machine is gas, so that's fine. <laughs> it's very bubbly. So I'm going to say the technology one, I, I'm not going to buy that that's the truth. A, because all of you are tech-ish. Um, maybe Mark said it. I'm not sure. But you can just Google that. So I think you can figure it out without admitting you don't know what you're doing. Gas oven, partially explodey in your face. 
just sounds made up. And I think toilets is legit for a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people know how to fix a toilet. So I'm going to say toilets is the right answer. I'm going to say that's the true one out of the three. You are incorrect. The truth is technology. I just pressed a ton of buttons. Oh, which mm. one of you idiots can't figure out technology? Okay. Way, to, way to eliminate the uh, right answer right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I figured there's people here like, okay, so if Jared said this, I'll never trust him again, part two. Because like, <laughs> he's of the age to where you should figure it out. Then Andy <laughs> works in technology. So if he can't figure it out, then I would be baffled. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. Which leaves Mark as our old person here who has struggled to figure. <laughs> I'm going to take Mark on this for the simple fact that when Alex – chatted you you responded in the chat instead of saying it out loud <laughs> in a different episode i'm gonna say that mark said uh he doesn't know how to fix technology and he just pushes buttons um first of all i had a gen one tivo dvr so i'm all about the technology <laughs> Second of all, you are correct. In the event I don't know how to do something technologically, I YouTube it and figure it out. <laughs> right. Uh, so that is not my answer. Oh, my God. Stereotypes are not okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the no, no, unwavering no. weight that I feel when somebody goes, hey, like someone came up to me, was like, hey, my Wi-Fi router isn't working. I'm like, I don't know any more than you do. It's like, if I come over... <laughs> I'm going to have to just try to figure it out best I can. I don't know how to fix these things. I was like, I can try to figure it out. But it came down to it to go like, do you know how to fix it? No, I can try to find out. But it's like, <laughs> I'm just going to press a lot of buttons and hope for the best. Like, what do you mean? Stereotypes. Okay, that's fair. I will give you that. The other thing I know I couldn't give it to Andy. A, he like works in tech, but B, he's seen all of the IT crowd, and that gives you all the training you'll ever need. <laughs> and plus, nobody's going to use the the phrase "explody in your face" except for Andy. <laughs> right? Really? What was that? Explody in your face? Well, it, 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 anytime you're messing with gas, is there's a partial chance that it will explode in the face so by the way i mean I'm also, it's it's dead simple right but it is yeah now that was a really but good i'm a master to, play, when it comes to, to throw to yourself toilet. off jared <laughs> <laughs> i'm I a guess, master when it comes you know? to toilets so if you guys have any problems i know how to do the ball float the flapper i can reseat a toilet for you change a toilet seat i can do all those dances too the, yeah the i'm ball. all yeah. over <laughs> i'm all over <laughs> All right, I'm not going to have anybody zoom in on that. The We're just going to go to Mark. Do when I try to touch toilets, it's normally a crappy situation. So <laughs> I, I don't like to touch those. This is why I, I tried to segue. Oh, yeah. All right. But all if right, you Mark. fix it, you're in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pipe down. Um, all right, Mark, you got the third question uh, that will right. pop up here. Okay, here's the question. Oh, another wheelhouse. Uh, we seem to do really well on food and music. Uh, who is the most overhyped musician in music today? Uh, first answer is Drake. I've never seen someone flip from sad boy to tough boy so fast. Uh, the second one is, I don't even know what a Dua Lipa is. I'm going with that. I don't even know what a Dua Lipa is. Ed Shireen, are gingers real? <laughs> These are excellent answers all around. Um, so, <laughs> clarifying question. Uh, I'll ask uh, Bert. Uh, what is a Dua Lipa? And am I um, right? I think it is a woman. <laughs> I, think. I think it's a girl. She was uh, in Apple commercials. I think iPhone, iPad commercials. I don't know. You know how they uh, occasionally have somebody. So is she along the lines of like a Billie Eilish? Yeah. She's, or, yeah she's, uh, or a Cardi I'm, B? Yeah, no, she's a little bit more, no, more she's Cardi more, B ish. She's very poppy, kind of electronic. Uh, okay. There you go. Ne never, there never, you go. 
never a definitive heard answer. That. It's kind of hard for he to be overhyped if I've never almost heard like of it was researched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Um, I do agree with the other two. I think both of them are overhyped. Um, and as what the father, you? what's that? I was going to ask what your favorite Drake album was. Oh, I couldn't name you an album. Oh, there's no I way can't, you would be able to name one. I can't name you an Ed Sheeran <laughs> album, but I know their song. I know that they're popular, and I see them everywhere. Ed Sheeran? Um, and as a father of a redhead, I'm slightly offended <laughs> by that answer. Um, because I think somebody yes, knew that while they put yes, that they're in. real. Um, but are ah, they? Jeez. <laughs> yes, they're real, but like it doesn't mean they should be allowed to vote. So yeah. I don't, so <laughs> I don't know what a t- how to vote. I, I I don't know what a Dua Lipa is either. So she can't be overhyped. Um, I think Ed Sheeran's popularity peaked a, a year or so ago. But Drake, for whatever reason, seems to have been a constant present um, in the social scene, and I'm not sure why. Um. <laughs> You've never listened to him. That's probably why. I, again, I think I know who answered each one of these. Um, so I'm probably, if I can get the truth right, I think I'll get who said it right. I, I'm going to go Drake is the true answer, Alex. Oh, man, I hope not. That is not the truth. <sighs> true answer is Ed she ran. Darn it. Oh. <laughs> I was torn between the two. Uh, and uh, it's, it's enough to say Ed Sheeran is overhyped, but to just tack on the extra insult, it's unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, so I'm pretty sure Jared mentioned Drake. And uh, Tony, uh, Tony, Andy said Dua Lipa. So clearly Bert is going to say Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran? Sheeran, <laughs> whatever his name is. I don't All even right, think that's spelled right. Is that how you spell his name? Yeah. It is yeah, spelled it's... correctly. I've Googled it. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so here's the thing. All right. Ed Sheeran is absolutely overhyped. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't know the music he really does. I just, I know that uh, shape your body crap, and I just, I am not it. But I shape also. Of you. Shape of you, whatever. It's stupid. He looks like a weird sad sack in the face. Um, I just, but I didn't, I did not say that. Oh, so then it was to uh, Andy. Yeah. And when, I, when I hear him sing, I, uh, I imagine him wearing like a leprechaun hat. And... Wow. wow. <laughs> I just said stereotypes are not good. Exactly. What the heck? Actually, I, I like knew a couple of that them. Jared would have mentioned Drake and it would not have been accurate. I imagine you'd be like one of the biggest Drake fans. I love Drake. He's great yeah. and relevant and not overhyped. <laughs> uh, Drake is okay to, to me and I don't get it. Because he's got some good stuff and he's got some bad stuff, but I'll just never get over the fact that he was in Degrassi. That's it. That's it for me. Like once you yeah. did that, I was like, well, I, you are not from the streets anymore, my boy. You are Canadian. I, I, I won't, you are I won't not get a over, thug. I won't get over the fact for you. I won't get over the fact that he's Canadian. That's what right. does it for me. It's like you can't be a Canadian thug. It's just not a thing. And if he doesn't speak French, stereotypes <laughs> or not. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll go to. Well, I, I do. Uh, I do agree with the Ed Sheeran thing, though. Overrated, overhyped might be. Y'all I don't know if crazy. I would say most, I, I would not say even most overhyped, but anymore. he's not my jam. I'm not a 14 year old girl. I actually so liked a couple of his thing. earlier songs. Right. I don't know any of his later songs. I haven't. I gave up on him. I got nothing. All right. Well, that gives us uh, Andy is is going to be handling the last question there. So yeah. it's popping up now. You get to read Bring it, it in a minute to dissect. All right. So this one is uh, probably one of the most uh, controversial questions we're going to address in this, um, and right. that is: Would you rather have a biscuit, breadsticks, or cornbread? Or table bread with dinner. Table bread. Okay, so the first one is cornbread. It's corn. It's bread. Masterful. <laughs> As someone from Iowa, I tend to agree. All right. 
Uh, second one is Olive Garden breadsticks are the best form of free bread of any restaurant in America. A bold True claim. True story. Considering uh, the uh, Cracker Barrel is just around the corner. Um but they aren't breadsticks, so uh, maybe that's right. still true. What is that's not even comparable? What? Okay, and then breadsticks. It's a stick of bread. What else do you need? <laughs> that's one of my personal favorites. <laughs> All right, so we've got it boils down to two people say breadsticks, which is obviously the two lies. Because cornbread what? is moist. It's sweet. It's got a little texture to it. Uh, yeah, it, texture of sand. I think you're doing it wrong. Uh, <laughs> Drinking ketchup. So the, the, th the, thing, the thing about cornbread is if you start to smell it, you've cooked it too long. And that's the secret. So if you ever that's smell not, cornbread cooking, well, that's, it's not going to be good. That's the kind of advice you get from somebody from Iowa. Iowa, for sure. That is not typical advice for a lot of situations, and I, yeah. I will say that. So cook it until you just about start to smell it, and then it's perfect. That's horrible advice. If you say cook it, and, like if you can smell it. Yeah, all it requires. It's good. I can't smell it when I put it in. You put it in there, I can't smell it. I'll take it out, it's done. Like what kind of advice yeah. is that? That is perfectly valid advice. Oh my God. I stand right. by that. Make your crap. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, the, uh, the cornbread is the truth. That is incorrect. Breadstick. That's a stick of bread. What else do you need? Is the truth. Boom! <laughs> okay, so... Bert's pretty excited about that answer <laughs> being correct. <laughs> hey, okay. breadsticks over cornbread. I actually do like cornbread, and but I've had too many bad cornbread. Some people don't know what they're doing, and you don't know. You eat it, and you're just like, it, it is just sand in the mouth kind of stuff. And I have just had – I have I don't have bad breadsticks. That's why I was excited. I'm actually cornbread, not so a, a fan of cornbread, but – there is one place that actually has the best cornbread. Where's that? What is that? I think we all know, right? We all know. Golden Corral? No. Taco Bell? Boston Market. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Boston Market's cornbread is great. You don't even have to you don't have to put butter or honey or no. anything on it. You just eat it as is and that is some that's awesome. I would agree with that. It's the best. Mhm. Mm how you feeling okay, about cornbread? Okay, so <laughs> cornbread's so hit or miss. Uh, I agree with you that's guys. True. That it can, it, yeah. It's so like it's it's polarizing. Where it's either good or it's terrible. It's no in between. Yeah. So it's, I'm gonna do a kind of a redirect question, and uh, where are where do you get the best biscuits on the planet? Bojangles. I can answer right now. Ditto. No. Yeah, I mean. Bose is pretty legendary. Easy. Okay. Well, that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> nope. Because uh, I was thinking of the two liars, uh, their correct answers were, were would be biscuits. And uh, right. So I'm gonna say uh, Jared and Mark are both biscuit eaters, which means uh, Bert is the breadstick guy. I mean, I thought we would be friends by now. I thought you wouldn't try and throw me under the bus like that. <laughs> um, well, the truth is, I am a huge fan of breadsticks. I'll say it right there. Breadsticks are awesome. You can get regular breadsticks. You can get cheese breadsticks. Olive Garden breadsticks are awesome. But I would also never take a breadstick over a biscuit, and I did not actually say that as my truth. Only a woke millennial would say breadstick is the best. Only someone in Chicago actually would yes. say breadstick is better than a biscuit or cornbread because that's what he's got. You There's cannot definitely beat a, a southern bend to it, yeah. Breadsticks are good with almost every meal. You could like it's undeniably it's the higher quality of sliced bread. So anybody that's saying sliced bread is crazy. 
But what about a I, meal it, of sausage gravy? Because that's a meal. Yeah, and that's going to go great with it. Are you kidding me? Really? You dip my, <laughs> I dip my bread. I dip my breadsticks in like the marinara sauce at Olive Garden. It's going to go great with any sauce. <laughs> Perfect. I've never wanted a breadstick with lo mein. All right. <laughs> you wanted a biscuit a with lo mein? <laughs> the great thing about a biscuit is a, it's buttery on top, it's fluffy in the middle. That's so you get, you get a lot of different, you get a layered effect with the biscuit. With the breadstick, all you get is bread in a stick form. That's all it is. Well, I, I agree that breadsticks are awesome. I will say that. I know Jared is a fan of biscuits growing up around here. I know you do like Bojangles biscuits for sure. It's unreal. They're amazing. Right. The only thing for me where I say biscuit over breadsticks is that you can put – uh, you can slice it and put something in the biscuit, and that's just one of the best things. Yeah. So you can do a sandwich Very biscuit utile. or a breakfast biscuit. You can't do a breakfast breadstick. People are going to look at you like you're insane. <laughs> if you do, yeah. if you put something in the breadstick, then it's just a churro at that point. So <laughs> it would make it a whole different thing. That's offensive yeah. to Spanish. That's stereotypes. Are <laughs> not okay. Oh, how the turntables turn. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. So right. Jared is Mr. Breadstick. That's the, the, Mr. The Breadstick. Flavor, the, the flavor just, and the flexibility of a biscuit makes it number one by far. Yeah. I'm it's just a dessert. Glad it's a nobody meal. says table bread. That would have been the most offensive thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but there you have it. That's been another episode of Two Lies and a Truth, starring our own, uh, our, our guest here, Jared Thomas. Thanks for stopping by for this episode, bro. Good to see you again. Um, go ahead, if you would, I mean, like and share this video if you liked it. Send it to somebody else who would like it as well. Comment below. We want to know if you think that these are on par for truths or if one of the lies should have been the truthful statement. Um, and we, we would love to hear from you. We would love the support as well. Um, support us on Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash sweetheart entertainment, which is right there in the bottom right corner. And then, um, or actually maybe it's in the top. I don't know how it's going to end up, to be honest. And uh, we would love to follow us on social media as well. So you know when the new episodes are coming out. And we will get to see you guys real soon with some more episodes of Two Lies and a Truth. Everybody's favorite deceitful um, I was going to say board game, but I'm just going to say YouTube game. <laughs> as natural as it gets, we out.